Come on. With two days left to go, Sharon and Dave have a friend living on the other side of the island who they want Sam to meet. His father also walked out on him, and they think Sam could learn from his example. 19-year-old Malachi Johnson lives in Portland Cottage in the Southern Hurricane Belt. By contrast to Sam, he shouldered responsibility for his whole family, despite facing extraordinary adversity. The Roses hope the meeting will be a wake-up call for Sam. Okay, Sam. Hey, Emma. Meet my friend here. And um, he's a very good person. He's only two years um, older than you. Oh. oh excuse me. Look how can take it all off. Oh, man. This place is like, makes my place look really, really good. <laughs> I thought it wasn't that good, but it makes it look pretty good. <laughs> Last year, Malachi gave up his education to get a job to provide for his seven siblings after his father left. My little sister. I'm calling. Hello. Tommy. Say hello. You see my cousin. So basically, I grew up with a, grew up in a rough, I grew up with a rough life. Then my mom now, she got pregnant at that time and my stepfather was taking drugs, so basically left home. Amazing, it's so different. What motivates me the most is my family. That's what motivates me the most to get a job. That's what motivates me the most. Sometimes I feel like sorry, but sometimes I said, God knows the reason why I put me in this position. I used to be a Catholic, but I lost my faith. I used to believe in God and all that, but I just like, I just lost it. I just couldn't believe in anything anymore. But I didn't baptize at one point and become a Christian at one point. Like, I would like give up a long time ago. It's just like everything that I've thought was bad, everything I thought was shit, basically. It's absolutely nothing. Like, I'm sure, like, you'd rather live my life than live out here. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes I like wonder to myself why the why the why they are born in this family. But I think that God put me here for a special reason. This is made. Fucking oh. coming here is made like everything different. I ain't complaining no more. There ain't nothing to complain about. I'm gonna basically just not be such a little whining twat. I really have been, I think. Don't know what on earth to say, man. He's basically just shut me the fuck up. Hey dear Sam. Hey, hello. How was it? It was amazing. I chose to give up on things and he didn't. I gave up on my family. Mm -hmm. I gave up on trying yes. and he didn't. And yet he's got absolutely, he's got so little compared to what I do. Right. Yet he's got the biggest grin on his face ever. He's happy. Yeah. Just being there sort of causing more problems. Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing that anymore. I really cannot do that anymore. Otherwise I'm not gonna be able to con like, up with myself.